Good day, good Monday. How is everyone? Maria, Denise, CJ, and Sister Jeannie. Welcome. We made it through the weekend. I survived a quick trip to Connecticut yesterday. <laughs> um, yes, I wanted to make sure my grandson got his, um, his all-natural supplements. Um, but anyway, um, Today is uh, the 6th of May, 2024, and it begins the week, um, and um, I hope uh, you're all well. I hope you're practicing your contemplation, Catholic contemplation. Hello, Greg. How are you? Good day. Um, I have to say I tried this morning, but just couldn't get anywhere. So uh, that's normal, just so you, you, you understand. And it's not that you're not getting anywhere, okay? Um, uh, it, it's good to, to you know, um, think about God and try to calm your mind and your thoughts for, the, for that time period. Um, sometimes it's just too busy, your body's too tired, or um, different, different uh, outside circumstances are affecting your contemplation. But don't get discouraged. Try it again later or next time. And uh, yeah, it seems that uh, the conditions um, have to be right in order for it to be uh, more fruitful, let's just put it that way, where you can actually sense the, uh, the infusion, if you will. All right, we're going to continue on with the signs for the purgation of the night of the soul. Uh, we're going to continue with that, and let's start with morning prayers. And again, thank you. We're that one video um, from last Monday, a week ago, um, when I was in New York, um, for some reason. It seems to be making the rounds, um, so we're getting a lot of new subscribers, and um, hopefully, uh, and, and and some, you know, some commenters, um, which which is okay, uh, which is good actually. Um, maybe they can be enlightened to some of their narrow uh, understandings about the Catholic Church. Um, what happened to it uh, over the centuries. And, um, you know, this wasn't just a Vatican II thing. Um, it's been going on long before that. Um, however, you know, the church isn't um, wholly the faith. So, because uh, the church can be the structures and the buildings and the and the people in them, um, it's, it's, it's more, it's, 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 it's encompassing a lot of different things. Uh, main thing is to keep your Catholic faith and your practice of your union or attempt to divine union with the Trinitarian Theophany. So let us place ourselves in the presence of the Trinitarian Theophany and in Catholic contemplation, humbly adore the Divine Family. Most holy and venerable Trinitarian Theophany, one divine family, I believe that thou art here present. I venerate thee with the deepest humility, and I render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thee. O Trinitarian Theophany, relying on thine infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain the pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting, through the merits of Deum Jesum Christum, et Deum Matronum Nostrae. O Trinitarian Theophany, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all, 
Thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for love of thee, and I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Let us thank God for the many graces that we receive and offer ourselves and our sufferings up to the Trinitarian Theophany. I most humbly thank thee for all the favors thou hast bestowed upon me to the present moment. It is again thanks to thy bounty that I should live to see this day, and I desire to employ it solely in thy service. I consecrate to thee all my thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings of this day. Sanctify them, O God, Trinitarian Theophany, that there may be none that is not animated by thy love, but that would not tend to thy greater glory. Let us make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good, and let us beg of God the graces which are necessary to us. O Trinitarian Theophany, thou knowest my weakness, and that I am unable to do anything good without the help of thy grace. Deny me not thy grace, O Trinitarian Theophany, proportionate to my necessities. Give me strength to avoid everything which thou forbiddest, to practice the good which thou hast commanded, and enable me patiently to bear all the trials which it may please thee to send me. O God, our Lady, Trinitarian member, Dea Matronam Nostre, I place myself under thy protection. I throw myself with confidence into the arms of thy compassion. Be to me, O Mother of Mercy, my refuge in distress, my consolation in suffering, now and at the hour of my death. O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dea Matronam Nostre, Dei Mesum Christum, Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I'm heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dea Matronam Nostre, Dei Mesum Christum, Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Of some imperfections entertained by progressives, and this is pretty interesting because we talk about these um, visions and ecstasies and excitements, and uh, there's a warning in here for that. These progressives labor under two kinds of imperfections, some habitual, others actual. The habitual are the imperfect tendencies and habits which, like roots, have been left behind, still fixed in the soul, where the purgation of the sense could not reach, whereof the purgation differs from the previous one, as do the roots from the boughs, or the cleansing of a freshly made stain from one already established for some time. For, as we have said, the purgation of the sense alone is the door and basis of contemplation for that of the soul. And it is better to reconcile the sense to the soul than to unite the soul with the Trinitarian Theophany. But nevertheless, the stains of the old still cling to the soul, although it is blind and cannot see them. The which, if they are not made to yield to the soap and strong lie of the purgation of this night, the soul shall have no power to attain to the purity of the divine union. These also labor under the hebetudo mentis and natural stupidity, which each man contracts through sin and distraction and exteriority of soul, all which must be illumined, clarified, and kept from straying by the punishment and conflict of this night. Now, I'm just going to interrupt you. I was taken aback by that hebetudo mentis, okay? The natural stupidity which man contracts through sin and distraction of the soul. So we wonder these times why there is such natural stupidity. Okay, for example, transgenderism, the whole concept, okay? 
and 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 just totally makes it clear now because it is the more depraved and the more sinful mankind um, is uh, becomes the more natural stupidity will show itself so the answer here to fix that is what we're talking about what saint john of the cross is talking about okay all who have not yet emerged from this imperfect state of progress contract these habitual imperfections the which cannot exist side by side with the perfect stage of the transforming union as to actual imperfections, all do not incur them after the like fashion, but certain of these, as they carry their spiritual gifts, their soulful gifts, so much on the surface, and so amenable to the influence of the senses, fall into various difficulties and perils, whereof we spoke at the beginning. For as they find so many communications and perceptions showered upon the sense and soul, wherein they often see imaginary and spiritual visions, for all this, together with other pleasurable sensations, happens to many of these in this stage, wherein the devil and their own fancy most generally play fantastic tricks upon the soul. Okay, so that's where we have to be very careful in this stage. And as the devil is wont with such delight to imprint upon and suggest to the soul the said perceptions and sensations, he dazzles and deceives her with the utmost ease, as she is not sufficiently cautious to resign herself to the divine union and make a determined fight against all these visions and sensations. Uh, you see that rampant now on YouTube with uh, especially Protestants who are getting and receiving visions. For now, the devil makes them give credence to many vain visions and false prophecies and does his best to make them think that the trinitarian theophany and the saints hold converse with them and oftentimes they believe in the wild vagaries of their fancy in this stage the devil is wont to fill them with presumption and pride and allured by vanity and arrogance they allow themselves to be seen of others in exterior actions which bear aspect of sanctity such as ecstasies and other displays. Thus, they wax bold against the Trinitarian Theophany, losing holy fear, which is the key and tabernacle of all virtue. And in certain of these people, so greatly do falsehoods and deceptions increase and multiply, and so hardened do they get therein, that their return to the pure road of virtue and true soulfulness is extremely doubtful into the which baseness they end by falling and abandon, by abandoning themselves with too much confidence to spiritual cognitions and sensations when they begin to make progress on the soulful road. So much still remains to be said of the imperfections of these people and as to how they are more incurable for as much as they account them of a more soulful nature than their previous experiences that I am fain to leave the subject. I only repeat, so as more strenuously to urge upon him who would fain rise higher, the necessity there is for the soulful night, which is purgation. That, for the most part, none of these progresses, despite this utmost care, fails to entertain many of these natural tendencies. and habits of imperfection, wherefrom, as we have said, it is first necessary to be purified if we would pass to divine union. And for the, furthermore, besides that we have said above, to wit, that for as much as the lower part still participates in these soulful communications, they cannot be so intense, pure, and vigorous as is requisite for the desired union. Therefore, in order to attain thereto, the soul must enter into the second night of the soul, where, absolutely denuding the sense and soul from all these cognitions and delightful savors, she is made to accomplish her journey in the darkness of absolute faith. 
which is the proper and adequate means whereby the soul is made one with the Trinitarian Theophany. So that's very poignant, very harsh, especially when one is in the midst of the ecstasies and the um, visions, etc. Um, to be able to admit that those are really working against your journey towards divine union. So let us keep praying for those who uh, are on this journey and for ourselves that we might uh, gain little by little. And again, it, it, it's a years on years end of a journey. So we read this book and it's like, oh, then we speak, he speaks, St. John speaks of a, a night. And that night is actually like a year <laughs> or more. So, all right, let's have mass. Thank you, Kyle, for your Bitcoin donation. Deum vobiscum, hicoque apote, oremos. O Trinitarian Theophany, the creator and redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that they may obtain by loving prayers the forgiveness which they have always desired, who live in reigneth with thee, one divine family forever and ever. And sushipe, Deum patrum spiritum sanctum, hunca macalatum hostium, Quamego indinis, famlos tuos soferiti bideum eum vivem eterum. Pro inimi de viribus peccati set offensionibus, et negligentis meis, et promnebus circumstantibus, sere promnebus fidelibus, catla locorum vivi sacre de funtis ut mihi et idis profigiat ad salutem. Deum qui humane substantia dini tantu midi biditu condivisi et midi bidus reformasti da nobis spiritu hus acore vimistim eis divinitatis esse consortis qui militatis nostre fieri di notis es patece abstain iesum Christum filium qui tecum vivit et reinat in unitate deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Offerimus tibi deum calicem salitaris tuum da pagantis clementium, uta consfetto divine maestatis tue pro nostra, totius mundus salute, cum adori suavitatis ascendat. In spiritu humilitatis et in anomo contitu suscipi amara te deum Iesum Christum, et secti et sacroficium nostrum e consfetto tuo horie, u placia tibi deum matronam nostre deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Veni santificato. Deum patrum spiritum sanctum, et santifici de blotta prosequendo, et accepere hoc socraficim tuo sancto nomine petratum. Suscite sancta trinita sancta blazia non contigi et erimus al nomine passiones, resurrezionis et ascensionis, Deum Iesum Christum, et in non adam Deum matronam nostri et papa pete sanctorum, et istorum et dominum sanctorum, id idis profici et ad honorem nobis et gamma et salutem, et idi pro nobis inter cedere, dini inter ne cedis, quorum amore magimus interis, per inum Christum Deum nostrum. Orate, ut me me questum sacroficium, acceptabile fieda patem patro spiritum sanctum. Sucibi ad Deum Iesum Christum, sacroficium de manibus tuis, ad laudam e gloriam nomini sui, ad utiditatem poque nostram, totiusque ecclesiae sui sanctae. Deum vobiscum, quoque apotei, surusum curuda, hevamas a Deum. Gracias agamas Deum nostrum, dinium et justum est. 
Te ești într-o vreme de însemnat de departe. 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 Te ești într-o vreme Ne mentor de în famlorum, famrom cătorum. We pray for the sick and the suffering. We especially pray for Katie, Gage, Mindy, Neil and Earl Lively, Marie Josephine and Moes, Henry, Barbara and Benedict Santa Croce, Mark Jr., Casey, Mr. Nobody, Anne Boltink, the Kentu and Duarte families, John Cahill, Claret, Jenna, Lena, Lori, Aaron and family, Marie and the Lineweber family, the Dasco family, the Nye family, the Tafour family, Alessio Tafour, the Vegan family, and the Wolf families. We pray for Mr. Nobody to receive the funding and strength needed to complete the first city of Acantis Catholic Council Office and Monastery of Illinois. We pray for an end to all governmental allowance or sanctioning of abortion, transgenderism, transhumanism, child trafficking, child abuse of any kind, anywhere, place, or time. We pray for the establishment of a Catholic monarchy with a sound Catholic system of labor, human value, medium of exchange, with no usury. And we pray for courageous men to step forward as leaders of this society. We ask Deum Matronam Nostre Deum Iesum Christum and Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum to destroy this satanic document of Vatican law that is the Jewish Talmud, to destroy Rome and the Vatican, and transfer the authority of the Catholic Church to Fatima, Portugal. We ask you to release the souls controlled by the demons Lilith and Asmodeus and send those demons back to hell. We ask that you save or transfer the souls from under the dominion of any Jew or Freemason that gives support to Israel and to make them to fall and that we gain our Catholic society back. We also block, ask that you block or that it is blocked the passage of any so-called pandemic treaty by the WHO based on lies and aimed at removing the divine family's children's freedom to move, travel, and eat. All these things we ask in accordance with God's holy and divine will, the Trinitarian Theophany. Et omnium circumstantium quorum tibi fides cognita est in notu devotio, Procubus tibi ferimus, perucitibi protox sacrificium laudis, process visque omnibus, pro redemptione anamanum suarum, pro spe salutis et emula maitatis sue, tibi cure dum vota sua, terna deum vivo et vero. Comunicante se momentum venerante in primis, gloriose semper deum matronam nostre, et deum Iesum Christum, et beatorum matirium torum papa sancti Petri, et sancti Luci, et sancti Jacinta, et sancti Francisco, et sancti Juan Diego. Et omnium sanctorum tuorum quorum meritis praetibus quae concedes, ut in omnibus protectionis tuae monel et exilio per inum Christum Deum nostrum, quam oblationum te Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum in omnibum, consecratem acceptabilem quae fegeri di nedis ut nobis corpum, et sanguim fiat didictis mi filium tuum Deum Iesum Christum. Qui pridie quam patre et orece pete panum in sancto sacronabilis manus suas, et derivatis oculis in celemante de impatrum spiritum sanctum suum omnum patentem divi gracias agens. Consacravit, fregit didi qui lumis sui dicens, acipite et mandacate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est ein corpus mei. Simini modo post quam ceremonia nesta cipiens et hunc peclarum calicem in sancto sacrabilis manus suas item divi gracias agens de impatrum spiritum sanctum. Quanto grave dedicuilum nisui dicens o cipite et vivite exe omnes. 
heat is any calyx and when it's listed in the quipronogis epomotis epageto in remission of epagetum. Epagetes concludes the epis in the epis. Okay, okay. Unde et memores deum nos servitui, sed plebs tua, sancta iustum Christum fidium tuum deum nostri. Tambi et passionis, nec non et ebin felis rejectionis. Sed et in celos gloriosi et chancionis, o felimus, preclari maestati tui di tuis donis actatis. Supra quae popizio axareno, vultur et spicieri digneris. Subitis, te regamos deum patrum spiritum sanctum, ibi hecte fere per manus tuum, ut quod quod. Ex hoc atalis participationis hoc santum Deum Filium Tuum, corpus et sanguinum sensenimus, omni sanctificatione, celestia gratia de pamor, per indum Christum Deum nostre. We pray for those who have died. We especially pray for Harry Andres, for whom this Mass is being offered. Ipsis Deum et omnibum in Christum crescentibum, locum refugiati in lucis et pacis, ut onto geste pracamor per inum Christum Deum nostrum, per quem hic omnia Deum Iesum Christum, sempre bono creas, santificas, vivificas, consecratis et prestas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, Estivi Dea Matronum Omnipotente in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Omnis honor et gloria. Ave Dea Matronum Nostre, gratia plena Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Tecum. Dea Matronam Nostre, Matram Deum Iesum Christum, Misericordia Nobis, Peccatoribus, Non Catanorum Mortis Nostre. Libera nos, quae somos Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, ab omnibus malis, preteritis presentibus et futuris, et intercedente beata et gloriosa, semper Deum Matronam Nostre, cum Papa Petrum Sanctorum et omnibus sanctis da propitius pacem in vivus nostris, Ut opi misericordiae tue aduite te peccato, simul sempre libere et abonne perturbationes secori. Peri enum Deum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Fidium Tuum Deum nostrum, qui te cam vivet et renat in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, Per aeternam, pax Deum Iesum Christum sit semper vobiscum, equo quae apote, et mixtio consecratio copris et sanguinis. Deum Iesum Christum fiat, cipientibus linet salutem aeternam. Pax tecum, e quoque apote, Deum Iesum Christum, qui ex voluntate Deum Matronam Nostre, e cooperante Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, per mortem tuam monum vivificasti, vivere me per hoc socro santum, corpus et sanguinum tuum abonibus inipotatibus meis, et universis malis, et facme tui semper in hadari mandatis, et atinum quam separari permitas, qui cum eo dem Deum Matronam Nostre, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, vivis arena maternam, Accepto corporis tui Deum Iesum Christum, quod ego indinu sumer presimum non mihi proveniat in iudicima condamnationem, sed pro tua pietate prosit mihi a tutum et demedis a corporis, et ad medelam percipiendam, qui vivis arenas cum Deum Matronam Nostre in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Panam celestem accipien, et nomen Deum Iesum Christum invocabo,
de am a turnăm nostru în omțul din nis. Putem trebuie să trecem la asta, nu? Că vă lăsa la rana la ea. De am iei sunt Cristul în omțul din nis. Putem trebuie să trecem la el. Să întâmplă că trebuie să lăsa la rana la mea. De am pace un spirit în omțul din nis. Putem trebuie să trecem la el. Să întâmplă că trebuie să lăsa la rana la mea. Corpus de am nostru în iei sunt Cristul în căsătorie pe rana la mea. Cui drătru vă îndem, ei sunt Crist în preomnibus, cu arături nihii, ca le cem țări tare să cipie în nume de ei în pacem spiritul sanctum în bucabo. Laudanță în bucabo de ei, matrunam nostru, et ab inimicis meis salvus el. Sanguis, de ei nostru, ei sunt Crist în căstorie pe anama mea. Colorii sunt simus, de ei sunt Crist în piele, bine de cap, e mai septimul, în temporare, că e un bistru, nu de ei sunt paternă. Un dem ei sunt Crist în cod somsi et sanguis, quem pătere herre și răgus meis, et presta utem în anul în mine, și el era mea clar quem pira et sancta reficiena sacramenta. De împubiscum, ne cuocuia pe tăi, oremus, may the prayer of thy suppliants, prophet, the souls of thy servants and handmaids, we beseech thee, O Trinitarian Theophany, that thou mayest free them from all sins and make them shares in thy redemption, who livest and reignest with thee, one divine family, forever and ever. De împubiscum, ne cuocuia pe tăi, i de miseest, de îngrație. Pace a Tibi, Sancta Trinita, Nepsa Sacrum, Sovetitis Noe, E Presta, Uța Praticium, Coroculis Tui, Maestatis, Eminus, Autoritatis, Et Acretare, Mitui, Et Omnibus, Procuibus Iru, Doctoris, Et Primi, Serante, Tăpățare, Pe Cristin Deum Nostru. Santificat Vos, Sondă Potenț Deum, Matronam, Et Filium, Et Spiritum Sanctum. Deum Matronam Nostru, Et Deum Iisum Christum, Et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias.
Trinitarian Theophany, I believe, I venerate, I hope, and I love thee. I beg of thee, pardon for those who do not believe, do not venerate, do not hope, and do not love thee. Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, Deum Matronum Nostre Deum Iesum Christum et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I venerate thee profoundly, and I offer to thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Deum Iesum Christum present here in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he himself is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and immaculate heart of Deum Matronum Nostre, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. In nomine Dei Matronum Nostre, Dei Mesum Christum, et Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias. <clears throat> so I want to thank the input from people who, um, who uh, again, uh, want to help, and those who donate and give it their time. Um, uh, if you are, uh, you know, really good at the Latin language, okay, We've been criticized because our Latin isn't correct. Um, one thing I'd like to, instead of just jumping on and, and, and criticizing us, um, how about helping out? Okay, and then we can also look into the possibility, the, the real possibility, that even the Latin language was changed just like all languages change over time. And so that they're original intent and meaning has been altered and this is what we're attempting to do so uh, this is not classical latin if you will okay and uh, so just to give you a heads up anybody who might be listening to another mass after criticizing one before if you uh, uh, anyway that takes humility and i i constantly push that with um everyone to uh to, to, to work on the virtues, including myself. Please go and sanctify all those who you meet today, and uh, thank you again. We'll see you tomorrow.